Hello and welcome to Alexpo, and it's time to talk about HITC 7s. The lovely Alfie's a cracking lad, and a very clever one too. Well over the years he's made some great international teams using players who could actually be eligible for a different country. So today, starting with Nigeria, I'm going to see how good these teams would be on the international stage. Nigeria have got their usual crop of players the likes of Victor Moses and Wilfred Ndidi, but they've also got some additional options, all thanks to the Football Manager Editor and HITC 7s. So now eligible for Nigeria, we've got Fakayo Tamuri, Manuel Akanji, David Alaba, Deli Ali, Ross Barkley, Tammy Abraham, Adamola Luckman, Angela Wogbonner, Philip Billing, Jordan Ibe, Emmanuel Adebayor, and finally Dominic Solanke. Will those players get selected, and can they guide Nigeria to AFCON glory, or perhaps even a decent showing at the World Cup? Let's find out. Right here we are at the start of the simulation as things begin, Nigeria are the 28th best team in the world. In terms of just Africa, they're currently behind Tunisia and Senegal, they're sitting in the third, they are the third best team in Africa, and they haven't won the African Cup of Nations since 2013. Things need to change for Nigeria, and hopefully these players will give them a big boost. David Alaba already going into the top player, he's also got Tammy Abraham there, Victor Osterman, already Nigerian, already there, a top, top player, and they've even got Emmanuel Adebayo for a good measure. Even though he's a free agent, even though he's 36 or however old he is, I mean, he'll probably not get in the squad. He's a wanted man. He's wanted by Charlotte FC, not Flair. But how will this new Super Eagle side get on? Coming up soon, we've got African Cup of Nation qualifiers. Next year, they'll be qualifying for the World Cup. We'll see how they get on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to simulate until the summer of 2022, give them two years, see where this new Nigeria team are in a couple of years' time. Can they be higher than 28th in the world? Let's find out. Right, here we are a couple of years into the future, and Nigeria are on the rise. They are up. 10 places in the world rankings, they have gone from 28th to 18th in the world. That is pretty damn good. David Alaba, given the captain's armband, and he has been branded the key player for the Super Eagles. Let's see where they rank among the other African sides. And incredibly, Nigeria is still the third best African team in the world. They're still behind Senegal, and now Ghana are in top spot, sitting in 16th. But at least Nigeria are on the rise. Things are going in the right direction, but they didn't win the 2022 African Cup of Nations. Let's check their schedule out. We'll see how they got on. In 2020, they won literally every game they had. Tammy Abraham getting himself some goals, which is good to see. Great player, Tammy Abraham. Into 2021, obviously they finished the African Cup of Nations qualifying, did that brilliantly, the storm through. Then it was World Cup qualifying, where just like the African Cup of Nations, they were brilliant as well. They beat Liberia, Cape Verde, Central African Republic. Then it was in the third round that where they met Congo. But they went through on away goals, winning 3-3. That means they're going to the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, where they've been drawn in a group alongside Austria, France and Mexico. We'll see how they get on when we're next simulate in another couple of years into the future. But as for the 2022 African Cup of Nations, they didn't win it. They stormed their group beating Mozambique, Morocco, Zambia, Tammy Abraham yet again getting on the score sheet, David Alaba doing well. They beat Ivory Coast in the second round, a big, big win there. A lot of the big names star in there, Tammy Abraham getting himself a goal. David Alaba, 8.6 rating. Tamori and Akanji, that new partnership at the back, doing brilliantly. But in the quarterfinals, they met Ghana, where they were knocked out by a 90th minute Mohamed Kudus penalty. And that ended Nigeria's AFCON dreams once again. Even with all these new incredible players, they still couldn't win the African Cup of Nations. David Alaba there, still in the starting lineup. Akanji, Tamori, who else is in there? Ross Bartley's getting in the starting 11. So was Tammy Abraham leading the line with Alex Iwobi playing slightly behind him. Interestingly, Deli Ali only on the bench. It says a lot that Deli Ali can't even get in the Nigeria team out. I'd like to think that's going to change. I mean, looking a lot better now under Nuno Espirito Santo. I mean, he's been stifled somewhat under Jose Mourinho. Will he ever get back in the England squad? Not quite sure. But Tammy Abraham doing brilliantly. He's probably been the star player for Nigeria alongside David Alaba. I mean... That's no surprise David Alaba, he's a top class player. But Tammy Abraham, fair play to your son, scoring a lot of goals in a green shirt. 
but after two years, Nigeria are on the rise. They're 10 rankings better off, but they still haven't won an African Cup of Nations. I'm going to go another two years in the future to 2024. We'll have had another AFCON by then, and we'll see how Nigeria got on at the 2022 Qatar World Cup. Let's see how they get on. Okay, here we are another couple of years into the future, 2024, and yet again, Nigeria are going up. They are up to 16th in the world rank, and that's bloody good, you know, that's very, very impressive. They still aren't the top uh, African team, though, that is Senegal in 14. But good to see so many African teams doing so well, even Algeria getting in the top 20, so Morocco. Good to see Ghana just out there in 21st. But as for Nigeria, let's check them out, let's see how they've been getting on in the competitions. They didn't win the AFCON, and, and they didn't win the World Cup, which isn't really a surprise. Let's go to the World Cup first, see how they got on in 2022 in the World Cup in Qatar. They won their first game, beating Austria, a perfect start. Then after that, they got absolutely hammered. Beaten 4-0 by the French, then beaten 4-0 by Mexico, ensuring they crashed out of the World Cup at the group stages. Even with all these new players who, I mean, in 2022, a lot of them probably kind of at their peak, I mean, the, the deep we go into this simulation, the less influential they're going to become. At that World Cup, it was a great opportunity, and it is an opportunity that they have squandered, crashing out of the group stages. 2023, there was another African Cup of Nations, and it was another tournament where they crashed out in the quarterfinals. This time they were beaten by Morocco, losing on penalties. It was Delhi Ali who missed the decisive penalty for Nigeria. Now they're back to qualifiers, they're qualifying for the World Cup in America, Mexico and Canada, the, the smash and Mauritius 6 and 4 nil. They're also qualifying for the next African Cup of Nations, they're, they're doing fine in qualification there. Qualifying isn't really an issue for Nigeria, they're one of the top African teams even before getting the likes of Tammy Abraham and Deli Ali. With those players added, they should be doing much better. But at least in the rankings, they are performing. They're going in the right direction. We'll look at their starting 11. You've still got Tamori, Akanji and David Alaba there, making up most of the back four. You've got Deli Ali there, finally in the starting 11. Ross Barkley in the starting 11. And Tammy Abraham sitting on the bench, despite having five goals in three appearances. Two of which, as a substitute, brighter size Samuel is also declared for Nigeria. One appearance. And what an appearance it was. A perfect 10. But up front, you've got Samuel Chakwizi and Victor Osimhen. Two absolute pace merchants. Two pace merchants who should be taking Nigeria further. After four years, though, they have gone up 12 rankings. So, so far, this has been a massive success. But I'm going to give them two more years. We'll have had one more AFCON and we'll have had the 2026 World Cup. How will they get on the AFCON and how... Will they get on at the World Cup? Will they even qualify? Let's go to 2026. Let's find out. Okay, here we are for the final time. We're in 2026. We've done six years of this simulation. And Nigeria, for the first time, have gone down in the rankings. They're still higher than the first start, but they are down to 20th rather than 16th, where they were just before. But it's still all right. It's better where they were six years ago. David Oliver's obviously retired because he's no longer mentioned as the top player or the captain. That honour goes to Samuel Chukwizi. And the vice captain is one of the players we put in the team, Fakayo Tamori, who's down as the top player, playing for Manchester City. Tammy Abraham's still a top player, but those are the only two players who we added to the team who were listed as the top players. The rest are already declared to play for Nigeria. Let's check the national team out. We'll see who is still in there. You've still got Ross Barkley, Deli Ali, Adamola Luckman's returned, Akanji sitting on the bench. And now I come to think of it, there are a few players who actually haven't been in the squad at all. The likes of Angelo Ogbonna has never featured, which I'm quite surprised about, to be honest. He's a, a decent centre-half. Jordan Ibe, not that surprising. I mean, he's, he's not great nowadays. Emmanuel Adebayo hasn't been mentioned since the start of the video. He hasn't got in there either. Neither is Dominic Solanke and neither has Philip Billing. But how have Nigeria got on? Actually, before we go any further, let's have a look, see where they rank among the other African sides. So compared to the other African sides, they've slightly gone backwards. They are now the fourth best team. Cameroon are above them, Morocco are above them, and Senegal in 15th are the best team in Africa. And as you can see there, Nigeria still haven't won an African Cup of Nations. The last time they won it was in 2013. 
and in 2025 it was Morocco who came out on top spot. Let's see how it went. Nigeria were beaten in a third place playoff by Senegal. Let's check their schedule out. Let's see how it went. In 2025, they made it to the semi-final. Tammy Abraham scored, Chuck Weezy scored an extra time, but they were beaten 3-2 by Cameroon. And then they lost the third place playoff to Senegal, which was probably David Alaba's final game for Nigeria. They blitzed the group against Zambia, Guinea, South Africa. No issues there. Got past Burkina Faso got past the Ivory Coast. They went further than ever before in this simulation. They made it to the semis, but that is where the dream died. And incredibly, I'm massively surprised at this, they didn't even make the 2026 World Cup. In their qualifying group, they came rock bottom. They were behind Ghana, behind Mali, and behind Algeria. Nigeria, oh, they weren't behind Nigeria, they are Nigeria. Come on, James, wake up, use your head. They came fourth, rock bottom with five points. Yes, they made it to Qatar and didn't get through the group stage. I thought 2026, considering it was an even bigger World Cup, I thought they'd be a shoe in to qualify, but, but they didn't. And that's quite appalling. Interestingly, the World Cup was actually won by England, who beat Serbia in the final. Surely Nigeria could give Serbia a game, for goodness sake. But after six years, Nigeria have at least climbed the rankings. They are eight places better off, but they still haven't won any more trophies. The best they've done was a semi-final in the African Cup of Nations, and that's even with new players such as Deli Ali, Fakayo Tomori, David Alaba, and Tamri Abraham. Even with these new players, whilst they've got better, they still couldn't win an African Cup of Nations. We will leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Alfie for this great team. I'll be doing some more of these in the coming weeks and months. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Alexpo. Check out Alfie's channel if you haven't already. I assume you probably have. And until next time, we will see you around.